Ma, 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 what it do, broski? It's your main man, Davey. Matt Fly, two eyes. Back in the Mount Museum with a whole nother banger, man. Hey, <laughs> look, bro, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, man, we got a lot to talk about, bro. So, yeah, we finna hop straight into that. But before we do, man, let me give a major, major shout out and salute to all my OGs, Yankees. They ones the new members of Light, broski. The Mafia is my family, bro, so make sure you hit that subscribe and the notification bell, man. Your boy got goals trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you want to see your boy hit them goals, man, make sure you tap the mob buttons for your boy. And if you're mobbing already, go ahead and mob up on that like button, man, right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and everybody don't like what we got going on right here, so I came up with some rules for they motherfucking ass. Rule number one. You know what I'm saying? My camera, my channel. Hey, I'm gonna upload what I feel like whenever I feel like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Rule number two. This shit called YouTube. That means be you on the tube. Nothing more than that list. And rule number three. If you don't like what you see, get the fuck on. Bitch! <laughs> all the mob. But yeah, all that out the way, bro. Let's hop straight into the meat and potatoes, man. Jordan Brand is cooking up some more shattered backboard colorways for us. You know what I'm saying? Some more different shattered backboard colorway ones. For everybody who's a fan of the shattered backboard colorway, man, hey, turn the fuck up, broski. Y'all know I'm a big fan of the shattered backboard colorway, man. You know what I'm saying? Check me out. But hell yeah, bro. I, I can't wait till these joints drop and hopefully I'm in position to cop because I definitely will. And I ain't made my mind up on a meal or the low. I kind of like them both for real, for real, bro. So, um, hell yeah, let's dive into these car facts or the mob facts. You know what I'm saying? Put y'all boys on game real quick. I got my cell phone right here, but I'm going to pop the screen so it's up on screen. But yeah, man, hopping straight into this low joint dressed in the classic. White, black, and starfish color scheme. This low top Air Jordan 1 features a black new book overlay matching the swoosh. The orange leather covers the heel, collar, and toe, and outsole top a white midsole. You did. Grab a better look below and look for the Shutter Bat Boy Air Jordan 1 low to release very soon. It's look, retailers, and Nike.com for the retail price tag set at $90. Not a bad price at all, especially if you end up catching them below retail. But yeah, man, as far as the uh, style codes and all that, got an Air Jordan 1 low color, white, black, starfish, style code 553558-128. Release date summer 19 for the price tag of that 190 And yeah, I'm fucking with them, you know what I'm saying? As far as the mid pair goes, um, Carfax on it say, Jordan Brand is set to dress their Air Jordan 1 mid in a popular shattered backboard colorway, you know what I'm saying? Thing this summer. <laughs> Dressed in a black starfish and white color scheme, this mid top Air Jordan 1 features a white leather upper, black nubuck overlays, and a starfish leather on the collar, heel, and swoosh. Nylon tongues, a top, white midsole, and black rubber outsole complete the design. Take a better look below and you will find the shout out back boy I drawn one mid to release in the coming weeks. Select retailers at Nike.com. Retail tag set at 110. You did. And the style code out that I drawn one mid, black, starfish, white, style code 554724-05. Release date this summer, price tag 110. You know what I'm saying? I like them both, dog, but we ain't gonna stay on it too long because we got other stuff to cover. You dig? Like these Agile 1 SP Genus. You know what I'm saying? First thing came to my mind when I heard Genus, I'm thinking like, okay, they finna drop the Genus from Martin. Agile 1? And why would they do that? Like, I was confused as hell. I had to look it up, but the actual concept and the story on this shoot is cool as hell, man. If you don't know who Gina is, you know what I'm saying? Hey, she she an OG in a Jordan game and a, a loyal customer of Soul Palace for well, but in whatever city she's from or whatever. I looked up her Instagram, bro. It is literally the coolest shit I ever saw, bro. You can tell she in Soul Palace every Saturday. 
lacing them up, you know what I'm saying, taking them straight to the foot game. And I respect that. And I really, really hope to live, to see myself, you know what I'm saying, as a grandpa, old man, you know what I'm saying, still lacing them up, like with, with heat still on my feet in my elder years. I, that's just dope and inspirational as hell. So I totally get the concept for the shoe. I think the concept fucking fire. Like the sneaker itself, I ain't, I ain't too crazy of it, but conceptually I fucks with it and I get it. You know what I'm saying? I rocks with the shoe. Am I gonna go out my way to try to buy it? Probably not, but I do think it's a dope ass looking, you know what I'm saying, salute the Joy brand for tipping the nod to, you know what I'm saying, Miss Gina, yo, cause who, who would think, like, you know what I'm saying, just for going and staying true to yourself and lacing up every Saturday, doing it however you do it, for as however long you would do it, that that would spawn, or, you know what I'm saying, a themed or a concept sneaker, you know what I'm saying, just a regular person doing what they do. That's the dopest shit about it to me. But hell yeah, man, um, a little bit of Carfax on them. I ain't gonna go too deep into them. It says, Jordan Brand is paying tribute to a longtime customer of Soul Palace known on Instagram as SP Gina Got Game with her very own Air Jordan 1 women's exclusive release. You know what I'm saying? So I probably won't be able to jump in these boys anyway unless they do their stendos, but this shit just hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dressed in a black and red color scheme, the adjoint one replaces traditional build with ballistic mesh-like material paired with a tone of branding and leather wings logo. Finishing off the design is a solid red rubber outsole and SP Gina branded insoles of a silhouette of her face. You know what I'm saying? In the bottom of the shoe. That's dope as hell to me. Air Jordan 1 High OG Women's SP Gina. Colorway is black. Black, white, varsity, red, style code CD7071-001, release date is May 19. Motherfucker fire, bro. Yeah, man, mad props to Jordan Brand for the concept. Like, that's dope, man. They showing love on that one, for real, for real. Moving along, getting into some more news, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, trying to pace up a little bit. Got some Funko news for y'all, bro. Hot Topic is having a fucking dope ass sale with Funkos. They got three for 25, buy one, get one, 50% off, buy one, get one free. Like, whole bunch of dope ass Funko sales on Hot Topic. And they got a nice collection of different Funkos, you know what I'm saying? Maybe something you're looking for, might be able to get it on the low. Couple of them, you know what I'm saying? Hey, check it out real quick. And... I wouldn't have had no idea about that shit, man. Gotta give a uh, major salute to Mr. Time is Money, because he put me on yesterday. And, you know what I'm saying, thankfully the sale carry over to the day. I found out that FYE were having a big ass sale yesterday too, but I was a little late on the trigger for y'all for that one. Sorry about that. But, you know what I'm saying, in other Funko news, bro, we getting the motherfucking battle of Winterfell Pops. This is too cool. To me, you know what I'm saying? The Arya and the Night King with that, with that, with that blade in his ass. That Night King probably gonna look dope as hell. And you got Arya with the Dragon Glass Staff Cubs. Y'all know I gotta have that, bro. I gotta have that. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of uh, mod facts about this. If you haven't watched the Battle of Winterfell episode entitled The Long Night in the um, final season of Game of Thrones, you had better turn it on now. <laughs> That's not what it said, but you know what I'm saying? Pretty much, you need to get on it, bro. For everyone else, you might be interested to know that Funko has released two new Game of Thrones pop figures based on the climatic confrontation at the end of the episode between Arya and the Night King. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pretty much what I just told y'all to put when you, you put that goddamn knife work down on his ass and him and all of the motherfucking whole night or the White Walkers or the whole fucking, they whole click, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Drop one, kill them all. That shit was tough as hell. Pops coming out, I'm gonna be on it. Entertainment Earth got the pre-orders going already, you know what I'm saying? So check that out if you wanna get your pre-order game down, if you feel like you won't be able to secure it in your area. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I might pre-order this shit my damn self. That Night King with the motherfucking dagger in them still, that shit kinda tough to me, but man, yeah. I'ma get up out of y'all hair, bro. Um. 
more videos coming, more news coming, you know what I'm saying? Hey, more everything coming, bro. I'm about to start trying to upload like two, three videos a day. You know what I mean? Make sure you are subscribed. I'm going to at least get you one video a day, but I'm going to be shooting for two or three moving forward on the mall. And we out of here, bro. From my family to yours. Peace. Mob, mob, wet, mob, mob, wet, mob, mob, wet, mob.